Okay, number 322. Here we go. Uh, my last video ended a little bit abruptly um, and so I'll just quickly say what you may have missed there but um, there was obviously something there that I wasn't you know I'd gone a bit too far said a bit too much about a particular subject um, but apart from that, I'd just really gone on to explain how um, scripturally I can, I can fit um, things that happen to me. Which I have already done in another video, so I'm not going to go over what I said again. I think the battery cut out for a reason. <laughs> but this time I'm plugged in. Um, and really I've decided to possibly make this last video if, if I do get shut down or something about something which I think they really don't want me to talk about and there's a lot of um, funny things going on and it's the flat earth stuff um, but not really about the flat earth it's really about all the stuff that's going on around it. Um, like just then, you know, I feel like in that video I was really struggling to kind of, uh, you know, talk and make my point. And I feel like there is some pressure and I've just been in a discussion, in a comment in my, on my last video about the Flat Earthers have been hypnotised. And here I'm seeing a very plain example of this hypnotism being used as a weapon. And it is, um, so I'm going to explain it, okay? So please be patient with me, um, I'm not, I'm usually pre pretty flowy, so I am seem to be battling against some sort of force that really doesn't want me to get this out to you. And, <clears throat> okay, so here we go. When somebody says something, like I just did then, we're going towards making a point. And after making the point, there is a pause where we can sort of recollect and understand that point. Now, in order to make a point, you might say a few things first. Now, what the hypnotism will do, it will keep making extra point, extra statements before it makes its point. And then when it makes its point, it's not clear, it's ambiguous, and you can use certain words that have inherent ambiguity, things which have multiple meanings. I may give you some examples in a bit. And that what the hypnotists won't do, they won't have many pauses. There'll be a lot of continuous talk. And once you've opened yourself to these ambiguous words, you feel yourself drawn in because you're curious. You want to know. Is he going to tell me something about this ambiguous word that I find interesting? And it can draw you in and they can take you any way they want to. If you're not fitting in with them, they can take you into negativity. Tell you negative about things about yourself, which is what this guy was doing to me. And I was reading it. Now it's easier to stop reading than it is to stop listening. But if you're on their side, they'll bring you into positivity and you'll get nice feelings. So what they're doing is they're creating an army. And you could say it's an army of zombies, sort of unable to think clearly anymore because of their beliefs. So it's 
actually quite serious. And it's put quite nicely if you think what they do is they weave a web in their talk, in their writing. And they'll use little tricks to, like, capital letters and stuff, repeating stuff. Yeah, so be aware. Be aware of these, you know, there's so many... Check out each YouTuber that you're listening to because, you know, see how anonymous they are. See much of how much of themselves they put forward on their channel. There's a lot of paid up people out there. And it's... It's, uh, you know, it's dangerous what they're doing because if you're on their side, you'll, you'll <laughs> agree with them. See, I'm struggling. I really am. I'm struggling to, to say stuff that I can normally think through and yes, there's this and I'm, I can see it, take that. And normally I don't have this problem. And uh, earlier when I was uh, discussing with this guy and I was replying on my phone and it was going all weird it was it was kept saying um, click here to continue typing like as if I was clicking cancel so um, you know and I had this hunch that they were going to close me down so this you know this could be the very start of it you know, people who can, if, they, if it's anything like, you know, that's never happened before. I've never had that happen before on my phone. And uh, so, you know, if these people are underneath the, the, um, <laughs> the YouTube, uh, you know, they, they've got, people in there in a sense who are able to do things. See, I'm, I'm losing it. <coughs> right. <clears throat> so just, just take a look at some of these words. I mean the first one was character. He, he did all this spiel and then he got, when he was getting to the point, let's see if I can read it for you. Uh, Yeah. So we're one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine lines in before he actually makes his first point. The rest of it has just been, you know, down talking me. I accuse me of doing and accuse you of doing. He's so good he can run circles around me and he'll prove. That's, so he puts all, some load of these words in capital letters. You see, there's no paragraphs, so there's no gaps. And anyway, so here we get to, the, to a point that he makes, his first actual point. All the big questions, and big in capital letters, all the big questions come down to character. So the word character, get, did I say this? Or did I just think this? <laughs> I think I thought it. Your character, and if I have repeated myself, I apologise. So the word, but I often plan what I'm going to say. So the word character, you know, what is character? It's ambiguous, isn't it? But it's interesting. Character, yeah, what is character? What makes character, you know? So all the big questions come down to character. So you might be able to think of a couple of examples, but clearly all the big questions do not come down to character. I mean, is there a God? Does that question come down to character? That is a big question. You either have it or you don't. Capital letters. Right, let's look at the capital letters that he's done. Really? Discernment? That you pretend not to do? Lost? There's one. Prove? Again, you know. There's a lot of things you can think of. It opens your mind. Worse? 
as you know, he's he's wants to bring me down. No, no, is in knowledge. Have it, don't. Quick math, serves again brings up many connotations. One, caring. No. So this thing about caring, and then he claims to know what I've done over the past three days. You know, again, you mention that to someone, you know, you automatically think, what have I done over the past three days? And it's, it's playing with you, because if you haven't considered what you've done over the past few days recently, you know, it's a lot of the time when you judge yourself, you do look for the negative first. So he's accusing me, and if I'd been reading this all continuously, you know, it's like you say words, point, words, point, but they then they take they've taken you on their agenda, right? Good look at yourself, lack, care, cannot, escape, escape again, oblivious asleep and I and I I can't where did I stop reading how oh, so I won't go past where I stopped meaning because I realized you know it's just it's just abuse you know this is just like getting a stick and hitting someone with with real sort of malice with real hatred right So I'm not going to carry on with that. It's just a hedonistic narcissist. I just, I I won't go into it. It's I mean perhaps I should delete that comment, but I'll leave it because I think anyone really should be able to, like I say, it's easier to stop reading something than to to stop listening to something. And so, you know, however people may have been drawn into this, the earth is flat, um, is in danger. Because you can get drawn, I, I've seen a, a few flat earth videos. They all have something in common. Like, if you're watching them as a flat earther, you're going to be feeling kind of good. Because... You know, it's all the other people are stupid and like they're stupid, right? So you're feeling like you're in the group of the clever ones. And if you're watching it as a non flat earther, obviously you're going to get pretty sick and tired of being told you're stupid and just thinking, well, actually, you know, I think it's the other way around. Um, that you, you're probably not even going to watch it all. And there's a lot of long videos, and the, I mean, and the enthusiasm they have, it's sort of, you know, you want to be in that group, in, in a sense. You know, it's, you know, so this is not something which is organic. This is something that's been pushed. Investment has gone into this. This is important to them. They've got convert, and the converted are basically volunteering to continue to push this. And, yeah, like, what's the difference between a volunteer and a slave? You know, I just, uh, I can't believe how many people seem to be going for this. I've got a cousin in Norway, well, a son, a, a son of a cousin. Apparently believes in flat earth. Cinderella, <laughs> Jordan, Ar, Runt. <laughs> That's my Norwegian. Um, so you know this. I this guy. You know he was commenting. He was saying, um, you know how good he is and how no one's ever defeated him or whatever. So I thought this would be fun. I'm up for a challenge. But he was talking about paedophilia, and you just hit the the title of his um, first comment, all loads of questions to 
Alexa really long. I didn't want that to be the argument because it's not relevant. And he indicated in one of his comments, I said, you're not on topic here. And then he said something about the title of my video, right? So I thought, we're going to discuss Flat Earth. So I said, you know, do a new thread. Why you best reason for you thinking the Earth is flat? And we'll, we'll have a chat battle. And then he didn't. He continued in his thread and just accused me of backing out and stuff like that. And I said I'd be happy to start one saying why I, my best reason for thinking it's a uh, sphere. And, uh, but I've already done that in another thread, so I'm not going to do it. So he clearly doesn't want to debate properly, because I also maintain that he should remain succinct and not use any hate speech or profanity. So he doesn't want to debate the facts, he just wants an argument, he wants to cause disruption and you know it's been really nice making videos about the event and all the people around those sort of videos seem really nice and that's really nice so you know we have got seem <laughs> seems as though in the online community we have a you know we have a two side situation going on and this is what they want they want to divide us and stuff but uh, you know we should understand that um, you know we're all we're all in the same boat here you know don't we all want to be happier inside isn't that goal for everybody and uh don't think it's impossible. Don't give up because of that. You know, good is going to outwin. You know, uh, love will conquer. Evil will be consumed. Not evil within us all will be consumed, forgotten, gone. Won't exist anymore. So choose love, you will, in the end, everybody will. So, I don't know, well, we'll see what happens, but this is number 322, coming at you. And I've said enough, and I've probably said too much. So just yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to it. I like I'm liking this journey. It's fun. It's fun. We're immortal. We're eternal. We're in a safe place, in God's universe, Jesus's universe, our mother and father. And I am. The one love within me. And you are the one love within you. Dig down deep enough and you'll find it. You'll meet love. Meet the love within you. And the love <laughs> all around us is our mother and father. And we will forever be in God. And we will forever be together with love. And our soulmate. You and your soulmate. You make your own universe. And your soulmate is, there's a bit of them in you and there's a bit of you in them. And we're all brothers and sisters. And this is the truth. And you can't stamp the truth down, the truth keeps popping up. You don't have to repeat it, it just does. Because it's God's plan, God's plan is good. 
and showing its fruits. Judge them by their fruits. You know, look at the current religions, look at their fruits. What have we seen? Rotten fruit. So they couldn't have had it right. But there'll be a new one. Yeah, everyone has it within them. The kingdom is within you. Okay, ciao for now. Bye.